How is everybody doing today? What I was going to talk about is this last spiritual battle that I went through and I'll say I lost it this time, but it won't happen again. <laughs> that, uh, I mean, just for from the feeling good to making they I, I let them make me feel bad you know that's why I lost and but what it was was a learning exercise for me and what I realized is that I also have triggers in me that they have programmed in that I never really realized that they were triggers before. I just thought that was, you know. <laughs> but you can definitely a trigger. It just like changes. I don't know. It flops you though into a different mode. So all that let me do is after realizing what it was and what happened and stuff, then I just cast some demons out of myself in Jesus' name. <laughs> I mean... So they'll never be back so that that trigger will not work on me anymore what they had programmed in so if anything like that happens to me again I'll do the exact same thing then you just cast the demons out in Jesus name they have to listen to you you're a son or a daughter of God you have that authority and uh, so use it everything's a learning exercise that our father has us go through it never seems like it's that much fun when you're going through it but when you look back you're like oh yeah you know <laughs> i would have never known that unless you did that though but i think that every single person that's been born here has been programmed through the mk ultra type of mind controlling or you know where they split you into different personalities through torture and starvation and things like that and they get you between the ages of three and six years old they break your personality because your mind will go into like self-protection mode and that's where they can form other personalities in people then and then they attach the demonic spirits to them personalities or that is the personality of that demonic spirit and uh You know, it, and I, and then with people getting married, I believe, especially with the <laughs> targeted individuals, that everything's set up your whole life. You know, we didn't even ever realize it. But it's just kind of crazy. It really is crazy when you break it all down. But it's the way... With the mind control stuff, when they brought over, you know, Operation Paperclip... With, with the Nazis, part of them went to go into NASA with the German, with the Nazi scientists. Part of them went in to form NASA, and then the other part of them, where they have 2,000 of them that they brought over, or 1,200 or something. That uh, then the other ones were the MK Ultra mind control scientists that Hitler was using over there in Germany. So. It, it's just crazy guys it is I know but you need the Holy Spirit you just have to have discernment because this isn't stuff that they're gonna have on the news you know this is stuff that you have to figure out that you have our Father in Heaven explain to us in ways that he knows that we'll understand there she is again. She's all happy. She's been rolling in dead mushrooms. So she's real excited now. But anyways, hope that made some kind of sense for people. And, another, you know, with this spiritual thing, you know, with the gang stalking and everything, that's supposed to scare you, you know. And 
have you that they don't want you telling their all their secrets so they try to scare you but all it does to me is make me want to reveal things even more ask the lord to open my eyes more every day father will you please open my eyes more to this place i ask for your wisdom father in jesus name and then for prayer then you always thank him afterwards because you know you know that your prayer or what you ask in them is going to come true you have to thank them and consider it already done you don't have to sit around and wonder if it's going to happen because you already know you already know it's going to happen and when you know it's going to happen we need to go to him for everything for prayer you know and talk to him because what we ask him and what we pray, he always he tells us that he'll give us whatever we ask him. You know, and if it's God's will, which if you're walking with God and, you know, working for him and trying to get people to come closer to Jesus or meet Jesus. And, you know, if you're doing something for the kingdom, you're working for him. So you have all the tools right at your disposal. He's the boss, <laughs> you know, so anyways, feel a lot better today, and I'll talk to you guys later, see you, love you, bye.